I carry a message to the king, the king himself. I see the world. Soon Big questions for you here. What is real? What happens when we die? Is there a God? Yeah, these are some of the questions posed in Woody Allen's play, God. God opens tonight at the Solstice Theater. And we're going to answer all those questions mm -hmm. right and now, more. right? Definitively. <laughs> well, it couldn't be a more well-suited venue because the theater has been giving back to the community ever since it opened more than 10 years ago. And joining us now to tell us more about God is the director, Stephanie Graham, along with two of the actors, Sammy Amund and Danielle Levings. We're so excited to have you Thanks here. Especially Thanks because yes. Stephanie works here at today's TMJ4. Yes. And this is yes. your directorial debut. It is. How exciting, because usually I'm really you're on excited. stage. I am, yeah. I've been acting, gosh, I mean, ever since high school so um, and throughout my adulthood. So to be directing is, is really exciting, something new, a whole new challenge. Yes, very. Yeah, but I'm I, sure. I have total faith in these guys. Uh -huh. Awesome. <laughs> Did you get to pick the play? Because, you know, a lot of people have heard of Woody Allen's movies, but not many knew that he wrote plays. I actually knew nothing about this play when yeah. Char approached me. Uh, she's like, you want to do Woody Allen's God? Because we've been talking about me directing for a while. Uh -huh. And I'm like, uh, let me read it. And then I read it and loved it, couldn't stop laughing. So I said, awesome. sure, why not? Let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the challenges you found uh, directing, especially a play like this where there are these big questions. There's comedy and all that, but there, it really does leave people thinking as well. Yeah, I mean, you don't want it to be total slapstick right. and too silly, but um, it, it's been a challenge. Just uh, it's 13 people in the cast. First off that, just getting all those different schedules in order and, you know, uh, organizing all of that. And then and you um, have a full time job yourself, full time job <laughs> yeah. and also lights, sound. Costumes, you know, I have people helping me with all those things, but I'm kind of overseeing it. So it's just, uh, it's been kind of crazy, but also awesome being, you know, overseeing that whole process. Mm -hmm. Cool. As actors, yeah. have both of you kind of more deeply considered some of these huge questions as part as part of being part of this cast? Well, <laughs> yeah. I, um, not really. I mean, it's, 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 it's been great. I mean, working with uh, Stephanie and and, and doing uh, this uh, production and uh, yeah, you yeah. think you think she she has a, a future as a director? Oh, yeah, oh, I think so too. Yes. I mean, to be able to wrangle all these personalities and. And divas, oh, I'm not saying I'm a diva. <laughs> no divas. No, in the no divas. No, 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 right? Good. <laughs> she, she's been absolutely wonderful. She fosters a wonderful environment of just uh, everyone's really cordial, excited to be there. So it's been, it has been so much fun. Yeah. Do you guys cool. play multiple characters in the yes. play? Yeah. How, how difficult is that? Because to be able to get into character for one person throughout a, a play is, an, is a lot. But to play different characters, um, there's challenges that come with that, I assume. Yeah, I think it's. It's important to make sure that each character is differentiated, mm -hmm. but you don't take away from the story. So it's not making it, um, you know, ridiculous or uh, over the top f for mm -hmm. its sake itself. It has to be still tied to the story. So there is a nice balance that you have to find. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have yeah. any of you been in a Woody Allen production before? No, and I and I'm really actually. even not that familiar with his movies. I, I'm mm -hmm. not like a huge Woody person, but mm -hmm. um, but I think anyone that loves Woody Allen films will love this. It has yeah. that humor, that sarcasm, but um, you know also that deeper meaning about uh, the meaning of life. And you'll walk out mostly laughing, but also asking some questions. Yeah. I'd like is, to it, think. is it for kids too, or is this adult only? I would say teens, teens. Yeah. at least like older 15, teens. Like 15, 16 plus? Yeah. yeah. I, I'd there. give well. it like a PG-13. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This is a bigger cast than your average play, isn't it? It is. I'd say average is like <laughs> six, <laughs> six to eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, so it's yeah. managing more people. It, it, managing more people, but also I, I think it's cool to get all these different personalities together and yeah. you know get all their friends and families out to see it. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm excited to to finally put it in front of an audience. You kind of get frustrated after a while. You're like, ah, yeah, let's they're, go. They're ready. Yeah. yeah. It, it seems, you know, for a play that has the title God, you'd wonder, you know, is this going to be a, an appeal to only, you know, people who do believe in our religious groups, or is this for everyone as well? People who just want to talk about the, the meaning of life and have a little laugh at, at the journey that we all take. What do you guys think? Well, I think anyone can relate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think everyone can relate. I mean, we're not really doing anything spiritual about the, the show. It's a comedy. So mm -hmm. that means Woody yeah. Allen. It's not... We're not going. We're not delving in, 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 into that, you know. 
of all the different like all these different no, religions. No. I mean, there's a little yeah. touch on it, but yeah, yeah it's no. more about the craziness of life, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mostly, life. and like how people's journeys can be madcap sometimes. Yeah. That's the that's the center of the show. Yeah. I think. Solstice Theater, I've never been to before. Is this a great venue for this production? Do you feel like it is a great venue? Yeah. I think um, <laughs> uh, you know they've been around for more than ten years, yep. and um, we've moved around to a few different spots. But uh, this venue, it's in St. Francis. It's, it's an old factory space um, so it's loft but it's also the audience still is close to the actors and um, it's a great space I mm -hmm. think I recommend anyone to get out there we're all we're close to Bayview so yeah. I just like okay. to tell people it's right off 794 yep. there you go right and hard. the money that people pay to see the play also goes back to a good cause through this theater mm -hmm. yeah yes. Operation Dream it's a group that works with inner city kids and helps them develop into leaders so uh, we're really happy to work with them that's awesome. Yep. That's a great, That's a great, a great reason yeah. to see it. And you were recently featured in OnMilwaukee.com. <laughs> I read a great article about you, kind of about your job and about your directorial debut. So congratulations Thank to you. Thank you so much. And it's been a, a fun time. Yeah, yes. and have a great opening Thank night you. tonight. Thank you. Tonight. Yes. Yes. Here's come out. the information. Come yeah, come on out tonight. <laughs> Our producer Katie's going to be there, so you can be like, "What's up, Katie?" Open <laughs> <laughs> tonight, and then it's tomorrow and the 31st as well. It's God a play. Also, then February 1st, 7th, and 8th, the Solstice Theater is located on South Pennsylvania Avenue in St. In St. Francis, right off of 794, <laughs> yep. as Stephanie said, the phone number 414-481-2800 or visit solsticetheater.org. Thanks, Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank 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 you. Thank